Amazon AWS API Gateway, the service that allows us to create and manage HTTP APIs for all kinds of services and applications. We'll use it to create an API for our Hello Lambda function. In the Cloud Console, search for API Gateway and click Get Started. We'll choose to create a new API and we'll give our API a name. Let's call it Hello Lambda. And give it a description. An API is built up out of resources and methods. Since what we currently have is just one function, all we'll do is create a single get method that takes a get parameter from the HTTP request and passes that on to the function. The response will be a JSON representation of the hello output object of our function. In the actions drop down, click create method and select get and confirm. Now we'll have to set up the integration between our method and our Lambda function. Select the integration type Lambda function and select the region that we're in. In this case, it's, US Central, uh, it's EU Central 1. And you can start typing here and it'll automatically populate with the available Lambda functions. If it doesn't find your Lambda function, then you most likely selected the wrong region. Uh, make sure that you select the right region here. Hit save. AWS will ask you if you want to assign permissions to the API gateway to access the Lambda function. You have to confirm this. Now we'll need to configure our API integration to the Lambda function. So we'll click on the method request and expand the URL query parameters. We'll add a single query string and we'll call it name. This is how we'll provide our name parameter to our Lambda function. Go back. Then we click on the integration request and there we'll configure how the name parameter is passed to the Lambda function. We'll expand the body mapping template and add a new mapping template. The only available type here is application slash JSON, which we'll have to type in here and then confirm. When AWS asks you if you want to secure this access by content type, choose no, use current settings. We'll create a JSON object here that will take the HTTP get parameter and map it to the name attribute. So we'll create a JSON object, which has one variable name, and we'll pass the input parameter name to that attribute. You can find more information on the syntax and available variables for a mapping template in the developer guide. We'll provide links to this at the end of this lecture. So go back to the main screen of your API. Now our API is ready to be tested. You can click the test button on the left here and type in a value for our uh, function call, we'll type name, we'll click test. The results of our API will be displayed on the right. The response body contains the JSON object that our Lambda function returns with the message function name memory limit attribute. It's exactly the same output as our Lambda function returned in our uh, two previous uh, tests. You will also see the logs that are generated by the AWS API Gateway. These are not the same logs as our Lambda function itself generated. For those, you still have to go into the CloudWatch logging application. Now that the API is tested, we can deploy it so that it can be used outside of the AWS Cloud Console. In the Actions dropdown, we can click Deploy API. We'll have to create a new stage. We'll go our new stage live. And also we have to give a description to our deployment. We deploy our API. When that is done, a invoke URL or API endpoint will be created. With that invoke URL, we can start calling our API, either through the browser or with any other API client. So because we only had one parameter, I'll just paste the invoke URL and add one get parameter 
and I will provide a name variable to that. Then the API function is called and we'll see the JSON response that this API returns. So now our API is public and we can use it from anywhere. If you want to restrict access to the API, you can also create API keys in the API gateway. These API keys can even be added to usage plans, so you can restrict the number of executions per API key. All of this can be configured directly from the API Gateway console.